Hi everyone, so I'm just here to do a quick unboxing for you. This handsome little guy is Rusty, you've probably have seen him before. He's done a couple of these videos with me. He's actually on um, a blanket that we got from this very box that I'm going to be showing you. And uh, he's just come up to help me as my glamorous assistant today, haven't you? Probably not all that interesting, but here he is. So, the box that I'm going to be showing you is my Meow. So, it's one that we do every month. And it's a box for cats. So, they send you an array of different products, um, toys, treats, and other little bits and bobs as well. There's always a theme every month. Uh, and all the items usually fit in really well with that theme um, and you can put in when you order the box you can obviously put in things to do with your cat if they have any allergies or any preferences um, their age things like that and they can try and tailor it as much as possible to the cat so I'm just gonna oh, there we go. open this out he's very interested in what's going on I'm just trying to sort of turn this a little bit so you can see his, <laughs> his face there so let's open this up shall we <gasps> what is it so the theme for this month is cat goes fishing so here we go <laughs> he'll probably try and get into it what's this Hey, what's this? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get in the box. Okay, so he's having a bit of a sniff. I'll just let him do his thing there. Just to show you where he is. He's having a sniff around in the box here just to see if there's anything in particular he's interested in. So they always include something called the My Meow Mag every month and this has in it just information about bits and bobs to do with cats of course. So there's little puzzles, um, things to do with keeping your cat healthy, um, little treats and things that you can make. He's just poking his head around there. Um, and they always have yeah things to do with uh, different medical conditions. Um, and there's always a cat in the box so this is a subscriber cat picture every month as well it's usually a, a nice little read um, and it's usually themed around the same box theme so you can probably see here he's fully in the box now inspecting what's inside so, and he's picking up these toys already so I'll just quickly show you these because I think this is what he's after so these are some cat toys from World of Pets and these are two little fishes obviously the theme is cat goes fishing <laughs> yes I know you want these toys don't you but these have got catnip in so we've got a pink one and oh <laughs> we've got a pink one and a blue one now these have got little feathers on them as well so I think this is what he's sniffing so usually to be honest Rusty's not always that bothered about catnip um but it seems like he's kind of after these a little bit so maybe these have got a different type of catnip in that, that rust is more interested in what do you reckon pal you like those so these are yeah great fun for your cat helping to keep them happy and healthy they're nice and soft and they're obviously stuffed inside with bits of catnip um and again little feathers and things for them to uh, chase and play with he's just having a wash just off screen here now with the catnip, um, as I say, Rusty isn't usually all that bothered. Now, there was another cat here um, called Churchill. You may have seen him do uh, a couple of unboxings with me previously. Now, unfortunately, um, a couple of weeks ago, we did actually lose Churchill um, to renal failure. It was very sudden, um, not expected at all. Um, he went into the vets on a, I think it was a Wednesday, and we lost him on the Friday. So it was very, very sudden, but he did absolutely love all of these toys and things that were in this box, particularly the catnip ones. I think Rusty's missing him a little bit, um, but we did get a little picture that I wanted to show you made of him, and you can see a couple of these toys here are from my meow as well. So I'll just kind of show you Churchill. Um, 
back so yeah he did appear i think it was my december unboxing and he was in a few of the pictures uh, in the reviews as well um so that's the first item and i think rusty's having enough of it so i'm just going to pop it down and we also have in here some whiskers temptations now these have got chicken and cheese in them so these are little um treats to obviously give to your cat put on top of the he's having a play with this now should we put it let's put it there let's put it there um yeah little treats to give your cat <laughs> he's now going to show you all his fur yeah he's definitely having a good old play with these fur I'll just show you what are you doing there buddy do you want those fish yeah you do <laughs> so these are yeah whiskers temptations so these are chicken and cheese um i think he's tried these before but yeah obviously they're little treats that you can give them a nice big pot of them as well are you getting a bit playful are we getting a bit playful what's these what's these <gasps> what are they so there's usually quite a few of them in there they're usually quite small but obviously because it's a nice big tub there'll be quite a few to uh, pop onto top of his food or just as a little treat every now and then um but whiskers obviously are a really well-known brand really high quality brand and i think rusty will very much enjoy this because he likes chicken and he likes cheese so put them together we have a winner so we now have let's pick this up as well so these are pet munchies so they've had these a few times before uh, but these are gourmet fish fillet flavour. Obviously, the um, theme for this month is fish, so it only makes sense. So these have omega-3 and 6, and they contain antioxidants. Um, healthy treats made from quality white fish. So they're freeze-dried, which locks in all of the goodness. They're a rich source of protein, vitamins and minerals, and they have a delicious flavour. So they're also grain, salt and gluten free, naturally low in fat, and they have no artificial colours, flavours, preservatives or additives in them either. And they help with a healthy heart, strong teeth and bones and a healthy skin and coat. The Pet Munchies treats always go down really well um, with Rusty, he tends to really like them. He loves a bit of fish as well, so I think these will probably go down very well indeed. Next toy we have is by Rosewood. There's been a few Rosewood toys in this box previously, but this is Little Nipper's Flippy Fish. So it's a little fish attached to a stick, and I believe it's on a rope. So obviously, once we um, detach it from the back, I'm assuming you'll be able to kind of pull it along the floor. Rusty loves anything like that. He loves like kind of playing catch and, and things like that. He does it with, um, you know, if you've got shoelaces or if you've got anything dangling down on your clothing, he will happily uh, play around with that. Don't think this one has, oh, it has got catnip in it, okay. Um, but this one's really good for kittens as well, so if you have a kitten. Uh, Rusty's uh, a little bit older than that, he's, uh, he's nine, I think. So he's a little bit older than that, but still very playful when it comes to things like this. Um, but it's interactive and it also has a crinkly body which Rusty is very interested in um, he loves anything that kind of makes noises like that yeah it's making a crinkle what do you think what do you think that's it <laughs> he's just had a watch over to the side there but yeah I think we will definitely uh, get a lot of use out of this I think Rusty will enjoy playing with it and it's a kind of cute little toy as well and obviously once he catches it it will make that crinkly noise which adds to that interaction for him as well next up we have um, another one by rosewood but this time it's their natural eats salmon fillet mini strips again we've had these before i think there's been chicken duck and um, a couple of others but not the fish ones obviously with it being a fish themed box this is perfect uh, but these are made with 100 percent natural salmon Gluten free, no added salt, low in fat. Um, just going to see what else it says here, if there is anything else it says. Um, and obviously, it's a good source of protein, vitamins, and minerals. It's quite a lot in there. You can see from the front there the, the average size of them. Um, it's a 50 gram pack, and obviously, because they're treats, you just give them, you know, a few just on top of their 
um, food they're eating. So again, it should last a while. Rusty does love fish, so I can see these going down very well as well. Then we have something that I think is going to be very useful for all of these toys that we've been acquiring during the course of reviewing for my meow is a toy box. So I'm just kind of opening it out here. So as you can see, it's got a cat chasing a fish on the top of it. And it also has handles inside as well. So you can obviously pick it up, move it around and carry it. But it's really deep inside. So there's a lot of room in there for cat toys. And it's a really durable material as well. So you, obviously if the cat kind of <laughs> decides he's going to try and get into it, as I'm sure cats, only cats will do. Um, or if they're kind of pulling the toy out and things it gets knocked over or caught it's really durable so I'm sure there will be no damage to it I'm just having a look here um, yeah it's a tote bag for cat toys um, and it's a gatote which I love so I think this is from their own range but yeah nice little toy box to keep all of their items in the other thing that there is in this box I'm going to have to pick the camera up to show you because Rusty is currently taking a nap on the lid um, is the famous cat scratch box which is inside every one so I'm just going to pick up the camera and show you so as you can see Rusty's just taking a nap on the lid um, but inside the actual box itself there is a little bit where they can kind of scratch their claws and sharpen their claws if they want to and there's also a little hole in the side of the box here for them to pop their paws through if they want and uh, have a play around and that's in the bottom of every box um, that they, they send out. So that's everything that's inside. I'm just going to put this theme uh, paper back in. In terms of the prices, it's really straightforward. So it's £22.90 uh, with free shipping. Um, as I said at the start, you can put in your cat's uh, preferences, if they've got any allergies, how old they are, all that kind of thing. And uh, they will try and tailor it as much as possible. But it's always um, themed. And as I say, it's a fish themed box this month, which I'm sure Rusty will go mad for. He loves a bit of fish. Um, and I know that Churchill would have absolutely loved these toys as well. Um, so let's have a recap, shall we? What do you think? Is all this excitement just tired him out? <laughs> so we have this lovely toy box to obviously keep all of their cat toys inside. We've definitely approved quite a few toys during the course of um, reviewing, so I'm sure this will come in handy. It also folds down really nice as well for storage if you're not using it. What is this? Okay, what is it? We then had the uh, Salmon Fillet Strips by uh, Rosewood Natural Eats. What are these? <laughs> He's just looking at me like, I want the toys right now. So we had the flippy fish, so it's the fish on the stick with the um, rope. So we'll get, once I've um, put everything away and finished this unboxing, we'll be unpacking everything and uh, trying them out with a few things. So I'm sure I'll be able to get a few pictures of him playing uh, with some of these toys. There were the Pet Munchies Gourmet Fish Fillet Cat Treats. The Whiskers Temptations Chicken and Cheese Treats. And the cat toy, catnip, uh, little fish toys, which Rusty was rather interested in at the start of the video. What's these? <laughs> He's definitely interested in these and he loves them. What's these? <gasps> yeah, you like those ones. <laughs> we'll get these oh, steady. There we go. And then finally the My Meow Mag as well, which is always included every month. So with this box, as I say, we always get a lot of use out of them. Um, Rusty seems to really love the treats and a lot of the toys that are kind of interactive that we can play with him with. So there was a laser pointer. I can't remember if it was last month. Um, I think it was, but there was a laser pointer and he loves that because obviously we can get involved in that. We can play with him and interact with him. Um, the toys where he can play with them on his own 
he's he's not as bothered about he will play with them but he much prefers it when we play with him uh, whereas Churchill was was either way he was just happy he loved that kind of just rolling around with um with the, tr um, the toys on the floor uh, but the treats always go down really well and the little extras so obviously the toy box there even though Rusty won't get direct benefit from him it, it from it it's obviously going to be where his toys are so you can start to associate that with um you know where, where his things are this blanket here that i'm currently kind of half sitting on this front my meow and um churchill loved that and um, he always used to kind of curl up and sleep on it and at the minute rusty's is doing the same probably as his way of kind of trying to stay a bit closer to to churchill and um, particularly during these first few weeks as we kind of get used to him not being here with us anymore um, but yeah there's always some really really nice little bits and pieces in there always really nicely fitting with the theme as well um, and it's just a nice little treat for your pets we all get subscription boxes so you know why shouldn't our pets too um, you may have seen in the past um, our my fellow blogger Nazia um, do a unboxing of Woof Woof with her dog Jasper and this is the cat version so it's the same company that the um the cat version um and as i say it's 22 pounds 90 per month there's enough in there as well for a couple of cats so you know even if you've only got even if you've got more than one cat there's plenty in there to keep them them all occupied i mean even though obviously we, we don't have churchill anymore there's still rusty and then there's churchill's sister darcy who comes in here a lot and um, she gets a lot of use out of it there's also a stray cat that my mum's been kind of um, feeding for tiger he comes in he eats the food and sometimes plays with the toys so you know it's it's for every it's for every cat that, that kind of uh, comes into contact with it so that's everything that i was going to show you if you've got any questions or anything as always put them in the comments and i will answer any as soon as i can i'll put the link to the website in there as well and as always there will be a written review going up probably in about a week's time once we've had a chance for Rusty to have a play around with some of the toys and, and try some of the treats um, and I'll try and get some nice pictures of him using them as well. Thank you very much for watching, enjoy the rest of whatever is left over the weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye!